channel 33 RPM. Today, nine hidden images and secret messages on rock and metal album covers. Be right back. Hey guys, Frank here, channel 33 RPM, the YouTube channel all about vinyl gear and more still coming at you with a whole new episode every single Sunday. Today's video is going to be tons of fun. Let's get right into it. Up first, Santana's 1969 self-titled debut. At first glance, the image looks like a lion, and it is, but take a closer look. If you look closely, you can see nine faces in the lion's head. Some people claim to see 12. The lion's chin is also a hula skirt. Take another look and you can see a hula girl with her legs right below the chin. I've always loved the artwork for Ozzy Osbourne's 1982 live album, Speak of the Devil and it does contain some secret messages. The lettering around the front and inner images comes from the Theban magic alphabet, or runes, which can be traced back to the 16th century. Creepy, right? Not really. When the text is deciphered, it reads as follows. Howdy, dial a demon productions in conjunction with graveyard graphics proudly present the madman of rock dumping in El Satanos Toiletto. Devilish, indeed. Next up, classic metal from Dio. This is the first time we saw the classic Dio logo. Now, turn it upside down. Do you see it? Some say when upside down, the Dio logo spells devil. The same logo appears on all of Dio's records, and interestingly, Dio in Latin means God. The Beastie Boys' 1986 debut was the first rap album to hit the top of the Billboard charts and may also have been the first rap album with a secret message on the cover. Take a look at the tail of this Boeing 727. When held up to a mirror, the 3M2A3 serial number spells out, eat me. And when you open the album up, the plane is crashed into a mountain, it's smoldering, and it kind of looks like a joint. Warren to the poster boys for 1980s hair metal reportedly hid the image of, you guessed it, a naked woman on the cover of their 1989 debut, Dirty Rotten Filthy Stinkin' Rich. Turn the cover upside down and look in the guy's ear. There, if you squint, you can sorta kinda see what I'm talking about. One of the more famous examples of hidden images on an album cover comes from the Rolling Stones with their 1967 album, Their Majesty's Satanic Request. If you look closely at the cover, you can see the faces of each of the four Beatles. This was apparently a response to the Beatles' inclusion of a Shirley Temple doll wearing a Welcome the Rolling Stones sweater on the cover of Sgt. Pepper. Who's next? That's right, it's The Who with their 1971 album. The album cover depicts the four members of the band walking away from a large concrete piling. But take a closer look. Even closer. Seems Peter, Roger, Keith, and John just finished relieving themselves when this photo was taken. That was the idea anyway. During the photo shoot, most of the band members were unable to urinate, so water was poured on the concrete to simulate the desired effect. This album cover scared the living daylights out of me as a kid. Black Sabbath with their 1981 album, Mob Rules. If you look at the blood stain at the center of the jacket, you see a devil head. That one's pretty obvious. But at the bottom of the cover, you can also almost make out the word Aussie. And if you really, really squint, it almost appears to say kill Ozzy. Ozzy was out of the band at that point, of course, and for the record, guitarist Tony Iommi denies that there's any sort of hidden message on that record. The cover of Ghost in the Machine by the police has always puzzled me. The digital readout made no sense. 
or does it? The graphic actually depicts the heads of the three band members and their distinctive hairstyles. From left to right, we have Andy Summers, Sting with the spiky hair, and finally, Stuart Copeland. There are so many albums out there with hidden images, hidden messages. Let me know what some of your favorites are. For this video, I only stuck to those records I had in my collection. I also purposely avoided Iron Maiden. Their 1980s releases had so many little cool messages and images. Each of them could have taken up their own episode. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, to leave a quick like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click that button so you never miss another episode again. Thanks, guys, for watching again. Until next Sunday, keep on spinning.